So, Happy New Year 2018. I have been reflecting on what I have learned this year, and here it is. I'm going to jump right in. Um, one of the top things I learned is that sometimes when you help people, sometimes helping people isn't helping them. It's enabling them, <laughs> to use the mental health jargon. Um, so, really think about that one. It took me a long time to get to, but um, when you put the oars down and quit rowing, the truth is revealed. So, I've been practicing that this year and it's been uh, illuminating to say the least. And on that topic, uh, sometimes I forget, forget about it, to meditate. But guess what? The reason I'm bewildered is because I'm not being still. So, uh, all it can take is five to ten minutes and an answer will come or you'll know the direction. I have a Kundalini thing I do that presses on your third eye. I'll show you if uh, you want a private session. Okay, and then the, oh, big thing. When you have a feeling in your gut and something feels off, guess what? It is off. But you don't have to have the evidence yet. You just go with the gut. And I know we've talked about this before, but it doesn't really mean anything unless you really use it in practice. So you can read about it and you can hear about it and you can think about it. But unless you actually follow it, that's where the treasure lies. Um, oh, and I tried a new thing this year. I almost didn't do it. I am partnering with Airbnb now, leading an experience, a photography experience in San Francisco, and it's going great. I absolutely love it. Read the reviews, the link is below. Um, and it's funny because I almost didn't do it. I, you know, it's funny how don't believe the things that you think, don't believe everything you think, because I was like, oh, I don't know if I can get there, blah, blah, blah. And guess what? I love going to the city. I love the Palace of Fine Arts. I love the marina. I'm rediscovering it in a new way, which is super great. I lived there a long time ago, many decades ago. And um, talk about bewildered. I was 20 nothing, didn't know what the heck I was doing. But I lived there a little over a year, and I really liked it. But I just didn't, I couldn't, I couldn't cope with the bigness. It was the biggest city I'd ever lived in, and I just, I walked all over. I rode my bike. So it was a good experience, but... Anyway, now is better. So if you want to learn how to take amazing pictures, I'm looking at my notes here. It's just funny because I almost didn't do it, and I love it. And uh, my work is my play. I love my job. Oh, and then another thing. Be curious. Keep being curious and you'll never get old. I learned a new way to travel with the sun this year favorite vacation just got back Cambodia Thailand Nepal and we went together we were both uh, backpacking for two months we lived in studios by the ocean in Cambodia and I realized that um, yeah we got to spend a lot of time together and it's so neat when you can uh, see your family in a new way and learn more about them by spending time together so really glad I did that um, and the last thing I want to talk about is um, there's just some random person at Whole Foods I ran into while I was eating she was talking about how um, how it's so horrible about the sexism for women and everything I said well you gotta start your own business if you don't want to be bossed around by a guy and you know it can still happen but it happens less when you get to choose your clients so here I'm telling her something that's really Oh, and guess what? <laughs> this is the funniest thing, because 30 years ago when I started my business, people were like, oh, but what about the health benefits and the SEP IRA and the, I mean, the IRA and all that? It's like, no, you have to really put those things aside. You can't just go into it with all the T's crossed and the I's dotted. Yeah, it's a risk. It might fail. But I would, just complaining about everything rather than doing something about it. Okay, so what it made me realize is there's doers and then there's complainers. Be a doer. 
Don't just complain about something. If you really want to change your life, you can. So, I'm going to leave you with that. Namaste. Have a wonderful year. That's a redwood in the back. Redwoods are only in Northern California, which almost makes me just bust open my heart. So, enjoy. Have a gorgeous new year. See you in the next video.